Hello my little peaches, welcome back to another episode of our Vampire Legacy Challenge. We are of course on generation 2 of our Vampire Legacy Challenge and we've started to make some improvements to the house. I'm not gonna lie, it's still definitely what I would define as incredibly tragic, but we are slowly starting to improve it over time. We're starting to get a little bit better on the money situation thanks to our garden which is right here and is of course looked after by the lovely Riku who actually also oh, he looks so happy with himself oh my gosh yes Riku living your best life smiling in the sun um he also burns in the sun just as an FYI because um he is our cattle and cattle have the same issues as uh, um, vampires do so that is a whole vibe for him I'm gonna pull you guys real quick on the music sitch would you like uh, no music or music while in the background whilst we vibe out? Let me know. And um, the other way we're making money is, of course, with Claudia working her job. Now, I honestly needed to join her at work today. Big sads, she left without me. Why did she leave without me? Because we were playing as Maya. So if you guys remember, mini workout redeemed. We'll show you guys that in just a moment. Uh, Maya, come inside, babes. You're burning out there. So Maya... Um, if you guys remember, we gave her the vampiric ability to turn others. So, she's the first generation to be able to get this. Our previous generation could only make vampires by breeding with vampires or with humans. Breeding with vampires, though, is a very difficult way to create children. Um, it's my law. Let me make it up. I can do this. Um, it's very, it's very difficult to make vampire babies through two vampires having a child together. So, Claudia took the steps to start breeding outside of the family. However, although Maya is going to try and do the same thing, she is now deciding that humans she deems worthy will be allowed to change into the vampires. The only vampire she deems worthy, though, are those that she is genetically linked to. So, she's actually genetically linked to all of these, uh, wow. I mean, you had a lot of kids. You just had so many children, didn't you? Also... <laughs> what? Okay, there you are, there you are. Okay, so these are all of her siblings. This is her ghost dad. Uh, Claudia bred with Ashton, then killed him, so that, you know, we just, we needed the money. And we don't want, we don't like the humans, they are just there to breed with, you know. Um, so, what um, Maya is gonna do is, over time, change her, like, genetic link, her half-brothers and sisters, into vampires. The first one being Jody. So Jodie we did last episode, we also CC'd her up a little bit. However, she isn't a vampire yet, because it takes a couple of days. So... Um, yeah. You're also poorly- Wow! You guys want the music on in the background? Okay, I will keep the music on then. Um, Claudia hates the house. I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. We're trying to get more money through, um, what's his face? Draco. What's his face? Draco trying to get us a little bit more money. You guys want, uh, through painting, by the way. You guys want these two to get an umbrella. I think that's a really good shout. So why don't you take an umbrella? What umbrella should we give Draco? Uh, he likes green, right? Oh, he did. But then his suit. Oh, <gasps> we might be able to give them new outfits. Okay. I'm gonna give him a green vampire. Uh, <laughs> a green umbrella. And I'm gonna give you... You're meant to have a purple one. I can't actually see a purple one. So I'm just gonna go for black for you for now. And then I... Oh, hello, bat. I am going to nip into Cass real quick because, oh, you can't reach it because he's in the way, typical. Um, we downloaded loads of new stuff and we should go ahead and give them a new rig out. Curly Babe, thank you so much for being here for two months in a row. Hi Claire, thank you for making videos. I followed you since Dreamhouse. Sending good him. vibes. Thank you so much, Curly. Sarah, thank you so much for joining the Peaches. Please we welcome Sarah at 94 into the Peaches. Kachao, it's Emily. Thank you so much for being here for two months with your Amazon Prime. Your channel helps you stay a little bit more positive. Thank you for being such a joy in my life. And Chloe Main, thank you so much for subscribing using your Amazon Prime. Don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you can actually subscribe for free, which is pretty awesome. And then Rose Wolf, thank you so much for being here for two months. You always make my day. I'm so glad. Okay. Oh, mini workout as well. So if you're on YouTube, I have a redemption on Twitch, which means I have to do 20 reps. This is the fourth time I'm doing it. So we're starting at the beginning again. So are you ready? Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. If, if you want to... Um, stream a lot. If you want to work out with me, 
Please grab your weights now. We're going to be doing 20 punch reps. Are you ready? Chat, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thank you so, so, so much for redeeming that. We're trying to get healthy. I also had so hydrate, so. Boom, good job. Okay, I'm going to unlink this. I don't understand why that relinks, but thank you guys for pointing that out in the chat. These are, oh, geez. Where did that look come from? I do not know. But, um, we got some new clothes when I did that CC haul. So, I figured we should look. Her colour is purple, right? Is it purple or pink? It's purple. You're gonna look like Hulk after this stream. We get, we get strong, guys. We get strong. It's purple. Okay. So I figured we should give her some purple looks. Especially now that she's a little bit older. Like, I feel like she needs a new look. I feel like this is quite the vibe. <laughs> um, there's also... We could go very old school with something like this. What do you guys think? I'm in her dark form. Is she in her dark form right now? Oh yeah, I am. Huh, I didn't realize that. Okay, we'll do it on this form then. Posture check, thank you. Is she a young adult? No, she's still a teenager because she's still only got two traits. You liked the first one. I'm trying to think though, what kind of vampire is she? She doesn't hate the humans as much as her mom. Um, but she still has quite a lot of distaste. I also have like these kind of vibes. But I was thinking if we have a future one that's a... Um, like an actress, then maybe we can make her. Oh no. My camera's overheated. What? Okay, that is not good. Let me switch my uh open my window. That that happened quickly. I don't know why it's overheating so much at the moment. Uh I'm gonna give it just like a couple of uh I'll give it a minute and then we'll switch it back on. Um so yeah, maybe a future really over the top vampire can have this dress, but I don't feel like that is who she is. I don't get like over the top vibes from her really. Um, there is like some of these ones which are real pretty. Like this kind of vibes. Um, I don't know what Maya's future holds for it yet, but you guys do like this. I think I like that one as well. There is like a lighter version. But I don't feel like she's lighter. I feel like darker definitely suits her more. And I will just give her the purple gloves. Hmm, they're a bit weird. They're better. Okay, so what do you guys think of that? A little bit of an updated look for Maya. I know the camera's off, that one suits her. Okay, and then for Draco, he currently has this look. Um, but what we really wanted to do with Draco is green. I just didn't have enough CC at the time, but now i could swap him out for something a little bit more green i mean that's very green but this is dark green or it's meant to be I and mean, it looks very it, it still looks like, like black to me but there's also this or this no nah, maybe that one are we changing the hair yeah that's a good idea what about something like that i know my camera's turned off it overheated I'll see if it's okay again now. I don't know why it gets so hot. Hopefully that's better. I know my camera's off, guys. I know. <laughs> I know my camera's off. It's overheated. Okay, you guys like that for Draco. Perfect. Um, I will have a look at some different hair options for Maya. What about... I'm, I'm trying to make sure. I think her mother literally had that same hair. We could end up too similar to her mum, because she does look a lot like her mum. I don't want to do purple streaks, because her mum's got that. And also, I want to really save, like, dyed hair for future generations. These are still quite old-fashioned vampires. Their mother is um, Claudia, and she's very old-fashioned. So, I feel like, at least for now, we should keep, like, an old-fashioned vibe. She's got a perfect nose. She does have a very cute nose. Like a little button nose kind of vibes. Um, I was hoping for some like half up, half down hair. So 
something like that maybe or this Ooh, that's a vibe because i feel like she would have her hair tied up and i would love a really big bow at the back as well but i don't think i've got any oh oh, oh that's a shame that that doesn't work <laughs> that would have looked really cool i wonder what hair that's on it says it's an anto hair let me just see if i can find it real quick it's not that one. It's not that one. Which hair has the bow in it? It's not that one either. Hmm. Is it you? <gasps> ah. Okay, we could go for that hair and then she gets a bow. Which I think is kind of cool. Um, where was the bow? Um... Hmm. Am I being blind? Where did that just go? Yeah, the bow is cool, isn't it? I like that a lot. That is an Anto feature. Honestly, Anto, I would say at this point, is definitely my favorite CC creator. Okay, lighter or darker on the bow? I kind of feel like lighter matches her gloves. And also, this one is a different um, hue. Whereas this one is the same hue, but lighter. Lighter, you guys agree. Okay, boom. So there we go. Some new hair for her as well. Draco, I kind of don't... Oh, his vampire form has started to leak into his main form. Bad Draco. Bad Draco. Yeah, his vampire form is the same now. Okay, let me just change that real quick. Because he's not meant to have as many tells on like his, his human form. Let me just get rid of these. There we go. He looks a bit more, a bit more human-like now. Although I might give him just a little bit of like, eye vibes. There we go. Okay. It happened when you cop and he sleepy where, ah, I see. Pum from university, did she have that hair? Yeah, I like the lighter hair color, uh, bow color. I think that's really cute. Okay. Bibbidi babbidi boo. He do be bad. Yeah, both of the, honestly, both the kids are evil. We're kind of here for that. We are definitely here for that. Um, Rose, did we catch your two, sir? Two months. You always make my day. Thank you so much. Uh, Aids Co. Aids, Aids Co. Thank you so much for the bits. It's your first time catching the stream. Sending lots of love from Lithuania. Mm, that's awesome. Thank you so much. And Alicia Turgan, thank you so much for subscribing. Please we welcome Alicia, Alicia, Alicia. I think it's Alicia. Can we welcome Alicia to the peaches, please? Um, okay, so, oh, you're off to go cry out. The kids, because they hate being around each other so much because they make each other feel wounded. They're like depressed the whole time they're together, which is kind of annoying. Um, which is actually why I was sending her out to like find stuff. So I could try and get us like a little bit of money. And then Draco is our family painter. So he has been painting classical paintings. And honestly, he's getting really good at it. Really, really good at it. However, his vampire energy is a little bit low. So we're probably gonna have to hibernate him for a bit soon. She is not wearing the outfit. Oh, but she is... Oh, are you, are you in here? She's crying it out in here. Oh, bless her. Oh no, MCC error. Probably needs to update MCC. Oh my gosh, that noise. <laughs> okay, love, please can you put on your new outfit that we made you? Because it's a whole vibe. Oh, oh wait, what? Did I put it on the wrong form? Did I put it on her? Oh, I think I put it on her vampire form. I did, didn't I? Let me get her to change. Um, oh, it's because she's in her dark form right now. That one looks really nice on her as well, though, honestly. There we go. Okay, come out here so everyone can see your cool new form. Draco, please keep doing that. There we go. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. So, they are pretty thirsty. She is very beautiful. She hates living with her brother so much, though. So, honestly, I feel like a... S Ooh, fresh meat. I feel like as soon as um, he ages up, we're pro- Oh no, you're leaving. 
Oh, I wanted to drink from you. Boom. As soon as they age up into young adults, he's probably going to have to get kicked out, guys. Because, um... They, he's making it impossible for her to enjoy life. That is basically the crux of it. And ready to do any gardening. Yes. Get some gardening done. She might as well help out in here. Gives us something to do. Gets me some monies as well. YouTube video. Yeah, it'll be out in five minutes. It comes out at five. Oh, oops. Hectic Heather, thank you so much for being for six months. Glad to be able to hop on for a moment this morning. Can't believe it's already been six months. I know, right? If Draco moves out, who does the painting? Wow, I did not think that through, did I? I did not think that through. Okay. Um, Claire, pop plant roses. I don't have any though. The good thing is there are some wild ones about, but they've not grown into like, they've not properly grown yet. There's loads of stuff to collect, but I can't do it while it's sunny. Yeah, like this is a rose bush, but I don't have any roses yet. Hopefully soon. It's looking very barren of roses right now. Maya could take over painting. Yeah, that could be a good idea. We'll have to paint. He's really good. He is really good. Like, wow. Let's get that sold. Boom. And keep going. I need the money. Keep painting. Maya is working hard. Uh, Riku, please work hard as well. How are you doing at your job? <gasps> you could be online for a promotion if you work a bit harder. Good boy. Also, you had an awful horrid holiday. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Has Draco painted them yet? You can't see because there's no light down here. But he has painted um, <laughs> Claudia. Obviously, in her plant form. This is going to be her resting place fairly soonish. Because she got infected by the mother because she drank a sim that was infected by the mother. So, yeah. Not a good idea. Would not recommend. Rachel, thank you so much for the biz. Just wanted to say you're an amazing. And your personality brightened up my day. Thank you for being who you are. I just got some good news regarding the school. And I'm glad you're streaming so I can celebrate with you and the peaches. Rach, that's awesome. I'm glad you've got some good news. Happy for you, my love. And we're feeling confident from gaining a skill on skill day. Um, do you need to do little sleepy pies as well? No, you need some fun. That's it. Have a nice little read. Good, good girl. Good girl. Okay, and Draco. This is his dad. This, oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Somebody has come round. Is this, who's this again? What's her name? Vanessa Tong has come round. And she wants to catch up because he's now famous from his painting. However, you could not have come around at a worse time because Draco is hungry. Draco is really hungry. So don't you just love it when the takeaway delivers itself? Don't you think you're going anywhere? Do the death dance. There it is, guys. Oh my gosh, he can just bat form over to her. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm a dino, yay. I'm dying to such a successful, famous vampire hiding under his little umbrella. And here we go. How long have I been playing for? 18 minutes and we've already killed someone. Try baking, but with human blood. What? That's so creepy. Release the ghost spirits. Yeah, but I kind of like the fact that they're haunted. Not Vanessa. Why do you like this sim? He is burning, so he's going to have to get his skates on. As soon as she dies. Oh, gosh, sorry. As soon as she dies, I'll send him back home. He's a bat. He's got the bat ability. So I can zip in and out real quick. So like, yeah, yeah. He should hopefully go home now. Boom. That is the perfect way to escape a crime, isn't it? Because she's dead and no one, he's not even at the scene of the crime. Like he's nowhere near the scene of the crime. Nobody will ever know he was even there. Is there a more perfect crime? I don't think there is. I genuinely think that that is, if there's any way to do it. It's got to be that. Okay, I'm going to see. Nope, she's not a vampire yet. I'm just checking on my half-sister to see if she's... When she can join um, Vampire Club, then we know that she's a vampire and we'll be able to make her dark form. Vanessa's dying out here without even anyone to mourn her. Because nobody even realizes that she's died. Big sads. Big sads for you. Please can we fill the bowl for little Lucifer. Lucifer, our werewolf cats. His breed 
is meant to be like the werewolf kitty cat. That was just pure coincidence and luck, but I love that. <gasps> Draco, how's the painting going? I see that you've stopped. Stop to view it. Okay, that's enough of that. Get back on it. Beautiful. Okay, so he probably needs to paint... Um... <gasps> oh my gosh, she had a baby. She had a little baby. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Wow. Um, can we come and claim this, please? Oh no, not you, because you don't you can't be a bot. You'll have to do it. Guys, she had a little baby and the baby's been adopted out. <laughs> Awkward. Honestly, this bot thing is so OP. Just put that in your inventory. And then I can just zip you straight back home again. Because like, he is burning to the third degree. It burns! But just like that, he's back again. And I feel like you're a little bit tired now. You are. Why don't you go hibernate for a little bit? Riku's back home. Uh, also who burns in the sun now. I did not realize that was a thing. So I'll send him to sleep. My, which means Maya should hopefully feel in a little bit happier. Because Draco's asleep. Okay, we need to find, um, my video is live. Yay, giving your sims a bridge to makeover. See, I told you I was obsessed, guys. I told you I was obsessed. Did you guys finish your snack time rewards? Make Draco meditate. Oh, I need to make both of them meditate. Evie, do you want a yogurt pop? Here you go, papa. Claire, it's snowing where you live. It's not snowing here. I feel like uh, I'm missing out. I'm missing out. Um, lick my toes. No, that's disgusting. Horrible. Hate that. Um, okay. We can sell this to a collector for a little bit of work. That will give her fame, though. Eh, why not? Boom. So she's got some followers. By selling her brother's work, and I figure we should probably get her painting as well. Uh, it's for the money. It's for the money for the house renovations, of which many are needed. Many, many, many are needed. Did you originally stream Dreamhouse? No, Dreamhouse was never a stream series. I like to keep the series that I stream and the series that I record as main channel videos very separate. I just prefer to do things that way. <gasps> Draco, you got work in an hour, babes. Out you come. There you go. Ask for advice. Okay, and then I also need you to do a little bit of meditation, please. And oh my gosh. She's feeling super thirsty as well. Problem is, we're not getting any willing candidates. Now we have to find somebody for her to drink fairly soon or else she will eat Riku. That is always, uh, that is always the risk. Always the risk. That's why we've got to keep them well fed, guys. Got to do it. We got to keep them well fed. Oh, I forgot you were really good at playing this. Okay, let's get you to also do some dark meditation too. And you've got your work in an hour. You oh, I forgot you babysit. You eat the kids. Good job. Call a pizza delivery man. But it took um two days in my other series for the pizza delivery person to arrive. That is just so long. That is just too long. Hi Claudia, I'm feeling a little stiff. Um, that doesn't make them come around to the house. That's annoying. So no, no on that one. And oh my gosh, the cats are running around like crazy. Nyom. Look at them go. Little kitty cats running around everywhere. Uh, how long has Claire been streaming? For an hour and a half. We're still in baby stream hours right now. I do have my lesson this evening though. Okay, good job, Maya. Good job. Please, can you... Oh man. She's feeling really uncomfortable. Okay, I've got to keep my eye on people. Sometimes like a bunch of tourists come outside. If that happens, that would be great because we can just eat them all. Um, but there's none there right now. So Maya, please don't eat Riku. Please, please, please. We need we need the divines to intervene and get us some food. Draco, strictly enforce the rules, my friend. Claire, please can you post your not so buried sims on the gallery? I will be doing it when I finish the challenge. The light redeem is still out of stock. Um, let me check that. Thank you, Beth. 
Um, manage rewards. I might have accidentally said it so it can only be done a certain number of times per stream by accident. Huh. It's set to 20. Let me just do it to 100. A thousand. Okay. It will hopefully be working a little bit better now. You should be able to do light redeem. Okay, there we go. Red or black. Okay, I can't set it to black because it's lights. So it can only be set to like vibrant colors. So I will set it to red for you. <gasps> red looks so vibey. Uh, there we go. Enjoy Peachy Fan Claire. Enjoy the red lights for you, my love. When will we kick out Draco? Uh, once he becomes a young adult. I, I don't feel right kicking him out as... Oh, she's really thirsty. I don't feel right kicking him out as um, a teenager. It just feels a bit mean. Little bit too mean. Okay, and Claudia's back home from work. Do you work tomorrow? Because I need... No, she doesn't. I really needed to join her today because she needs to diagnose two patients. But she set up for work before I joined. So we will on Tuesday, we'll join her for work. Um, Sailor Moon, thank you so much for being here for six months in a row, seven months in total. I'm so sorry about your sad news. And I hope we can cheer you up today. Thank you for all the positivity you give us, Peaches. Also, it's a blizzard outside here in New York. Jeez, please be careful if you're in America. Um, Donna, thank you so much for subscribing. Please be welcome Donna to the Peaches. And Lani J, thank you so much for being here for five months in a row, seven months in total. Love to you and all the Peaches. Jeanette, thank you so much for the bits. I just want to say thank you. When you wake up, I watch you. Um, and then see you on YouTube for Not So Berry. My son is getting brain surgery on the 9th. He is eight years old. He loves your videos. Please, can we get some love in the chat for Jeanette and um, also her son? And the best of luck with the brain surgery. Jeez, sending good luck and um, well, good recovery vibes to uh, to your son, Jeanette. Let's get some love in the chat for Jeanette, please. Claudia's hair is back to normal. Yeah, it's on her work outfit. I will just change her outfit for you guys. So that she's, gosh, couldn't find that then. Got her proper hair. There we go. She's also got her quite put together outfit on, but she doesn't always manage that most days. She's definitely, um, definitely, oh, she's always just fine as well because her emotions are dampened. But yeah, the plan is taking over her. Artistic Gamer, thank you so much for subscribing. Please can we welcome Artistic Gamer to the peaches, please. Um, and I don't really know what to do with Claudia nowadays. She's not trying to eat and kill people so much anymore. Hey, Draco, I'd love to have you join the garden, gnomes. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. That is a bunch of people to eat. I, see, I don't like them necessarily going out and finding people for themselves. I like it when their food comes to me. I'm lazy. I like Deliveroo rather than cooking, you know? Maya is babysitting for a new family. Dollopin Quinoa and Kale Delight, Charlie's favorite, onto a dinner plate and sweetly ignoring the crashing sounds from the boys' bedroom. When it's suddenly quiet, her heart skips and a small, vi asks, a small voice asks, can I have a cookie? He's not supposed to have any cookies until after dinner. Do I give him a cookie or do I make him wait? I don't think she'll genuinely care much whether he has a cookie or not. But also I feel like she likes to torture humans, so she's going to make him wait. Oh, and he has to force feed him the green slop. Three tantrums, one dinner, and one cookie later, he finally goes to bed, grumbling about the worst sitter in the world. Maya, kill him! Kill him! <gasps> and have we not paid our bills? I kind of think maybe we haven't. Uh, do we have bills to pay? Maybe we don't. I'm going to get the mail all the same. And uh, K-Jump, thank you so much for gifting a sub! If you were just gifted, uh, gifted by KJam, please can we say thank you in the chat? We are almost, we're on almost 190 new peaches today, which is absolutely amazing. Well done, you guys. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wake up little Riku because he's fun and hunger are low. The only fun thing to do in the house at the moment is just read. And uh, he is the only one who eats, obviously. So we will get him to eat some leftovers. Loving the spooky path. What, this little one here? I will put some, like, stuff around it. I think the ground's a little bit... Yeah, the ground's a little bit bumpy. So I will um, put some stuff around it and, like... I, I want to grow the grounds. But, um, ooh. Refined jet. Let's sell... Oh! I did not realize I could get so much money by refining things. Huh. Okay, the more you know. Um, ooh. And you're re reading the vampiric volumes. Okay. 
bit, making me a bit nervous there. Um, I want to make the house so much better. Like, I'm thinking of making this, like, do double stories with the thing right at the top, but then I guess it would cover this. But yeah, there's a lot more I want to do. There is a lot more I want to do. I'm just not there yet. Well done, Draco. Thank you for the money. I feel like with £3,000, we can probably have a little nosy at things to do, such as continue painting the walls. I hate that we're spending money on like Vora and stuff like this, but what are you gonna do? Um, can I do that? Is that now just open? Okay, I think that's okay. Yeah, so I was thinking, one of you guys sent me a cool picture and the thing at the front had like two stories, which was really vibey. Let me just try it real quick. If it doesn't look good, I'll just press back like a bajillion times. But I'm just going to move this just for a hot sec. Okay. So it would be like this again. Maybe it did come from all the way at the side. Maybe like... Hmm... Okay, give me a sec, because it was like arches. It looked really cool. And then, but then like all these bits were arches like looking inside to the stone. Let me just try it. It might look absolutely tragic and then we won't do it. But if it, if it does look, oh, see the arches are so small in this game. If it does look cool. Hmm. Like this. And then the roof grate goes on top of there. But it's not, that bit isn't actually a room. It's just like a balcony. Let me just try it. Let me just see. Is there a vampire one of these? Yeah. Oh, why does that delete that? Rude. Oh, what? Yeah, because if you were, if you on Twitter sent me a really cool picture of like a house, that is what I'm basing this on because I saw your picture. Um, so that is actually what I'm basing this on. Maybe they should join actually. Yeah, it's kind of vibey. I know this is like such nonsense and consequential stuff compared to the fact that there's like no rooms upstairs. But this is how I build. I like to do the nonsense stuff first and then do the essential stuff afterwards. <laughs> yes, I thought that kind of made the front look a little bit more grand. That looks better, right? Um, Silky Gamer, thank you so much for the bits. You need some advice. Your best friend is in really horrible stuff about other people's looks and certain styles and it's really stressing me out since I believe everyone and all styles are beautiful. I've asked her to stop multiple times now and it's really stressing me out at this point. Do you have any advice? I would perhaps suggest if somebody's talking about stuff and not listening to you when you say no, every time they engage in, that t in the subject that upsets you, totally just walk away from them. Walk away and ignore them and then hopefully eventually they'll get the point. Or like if you're on the phone to them, just say, I'm, not, I'm gonna hang up until you stop talking about this subject because you know I don't like it. Hopefully, eventually, they get the hint that you aren't going to accept that and you aren't going to want to talk to them about that topic. Obviously, it doesn't always work. Some people are really persistent, but it's a good place to start. Or kind of like making... What's this bit doing? Making them aware that like, geez, don't you think that's a really horrible thing to say? How would you feel if somebody said that about you? Almost like trying to like make them realize how upsetting the sentiment is kind of vibes. I don't know. It's tough, though. I know it's tough. Okay, let me put this back on. Oh, can I not put that up here? Oh, it needs. To be, does it need to be on a room? Ah. Okay, it won't let me put that on anymore. We could always move this forwards now and have that at the front of the... Do I need to, like... I need to, like, put... Okay. I need to, like, put a wall, a floor, a floor there, don't I? So let me just, like, make this a faux room for a sec. I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, give me a sec. 
No, I've run out of money. See, this is the problem. Ah! Okay, I've run out of money. However, it's gonna look so much better. It is gonna look so much better. But for now, at least, I have run out of moolah. We're gonna have to be stuck with some, like, roofs just hanging out here. We'll get to it, guys. We'll get to it. Just do a ceiling. Give it a ceiling. Is there a way to do that without spending the money? Let me just delete that for a sec. Can I, like, just click on a room and say, like, give ceiling? Uh, I thought I'd be able to, like, you know, like, just put a ceiling on it. Because I can't, like, put a floor tile there. Nothing to change. It won't let me. Press the yellow outline. Oops. Remove ceiling. Build ceiling! Oh my gosh, I genuinely didn't realize you could do that. Hmm, it won't let me do it on this side though. Look, it's classing that as a room, but it's not classing this as a room. I wonder if just for a short term, I put a wall here. There we go. Bish bash bosh. Thank you guys. I did not realize I could do that. Okay, so there is that option. But I really like the shapes we were throwing out at the start. So let me just move him over there for a sec. I liked like the shapes that we were putting at the start. Like I thought the whole thing with the little bump with the little thing was a was a vibe. And then we had this, didn't we? We might have to do it a lot bigger now. But it was like this kind of thing, wasn't it? Looks a bit better further out, doesn't it? Yeah, because I thought that was like a bit more shapey. I feel like that looks better. No, thank you so much for the bits. Almost a year since our hug. I'll give you a big hug over here. Speaking of cute things. It's Lexi. It's a Lexi Lumber. Evie came scratch my dogs for foodies. Oh, you guys want your dindins. Did you have your dindins, Papa? Did you have your dindins? Has she had it yet? No, nah, she she doesn't want to be with you. She wants my <gasps> She wants foodies. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Have nice tendons. Alexi Lubrush. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I just think that is like a more fun shape. Although this... Okay, because so, also I was thinking... I don't know how to make this bigger, but I wanted to put, you know, the posties. Maybe like those here. Obviously, they'd have to go down a bit. And do it like that. And then maybe this, hmm, but what about posty there? It's not going on to anything, is it? Yeah, those would need to come forward a little bit. Hmm. Well, would you put the posty at the side and get rid of that one? Which looks better. The side gives it more like structure, I think. But right now, like, they're not really attached to anything, which is kind of dumb, so that would have to come forward. Like that? Does that look better? Sorry, I'm a little bit behind with your guys' messages, aren't I? Deb Ansi, thank you so much for the bits! I hope you are well. I was thinking you could give Claudia your IVCC or make her green like you did with your plants them. I don't know how, how green I want to go with her, but I'll have a think about it. Sailor Moon with the five gifted subs. If you are gifted by a Sailor Moon, please make sure I say thank you in the chat. Here is a big, huge heart for you, Sailor Moon. 
sending you big, big love. And also another five. Okay. Can we get some hearts in the chat, please, for Sailor Moon? For the 10 gifted subs. That is another five. Hearts in the chat for Sailor Moon, please. If you were just gifted by Sailor Moon, please, please, please make sure you say a big thank you. And can we get some little hearts so I can blow them as a thank you from the community? There we go. Sailor Moon, here are some hearts from myself and for you. Thank you so much for the 10. Myself and the community, sorry. Thank you so, so much for those. Um, also, Natcat, thank you so much for the bits. My little brother Jacob absolutely loves you. He's nine, has developmental disabilities. Every time I watch your videos, he's right by my side. He thinks you're really pretty. If you could say hi, it would mean the world to both of us. Hello, Jacob. Jacob and Nat, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Also, uh, we've got Sailor Moon with another gifted sub at the end there. Thank you so, so much. We've got uh, Marin Nules, who just subscribed. Please come welcome Marin Nules to the Peaches. And then Artistic Gamer as well with the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs too. If you were gifted by Artistic Gamer, please make sure you say thank you in the chat. Celine Bean, thank you also for gifting a sub. Please make sure you say thank you if you were gifted. And little Mino Maru, thank you so much for being here for six months with your Amazon Prime. I appreciate that so, so much. Okay. I think that is looking better. Um, I think these maybe need to now come in one. And then these need to go down one. Maybe like that. And these maybe need to go down. It's getting there. It's still not right. But I, it's looking a little bit better, I'd say. It's hard because like I'd want to do... I don't know what I'm going to do with the top roof yet. So for now, we're just kind of making it up as we go along. Which honestly is the theme of my life at this point, I swear. Especially when it comes to Sims. But hey-ho. Oh no. <laughs> as long as we're having fun, who cares? And then he's kind of needs to come out a little bit, doesn't he? There we go. Okay. We shall see. We shall see. I'll do that for now. And I'll put this back on over here. For now. I don't really like how it goes um, into the glass. But. I don't know. This bit, this bit we are most definitely still making up. Let me just try putting it on once more. I didn't really do it right that time. Yeah, I also don't really know about the logic of having a glass roof in a vampire house. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is kind of where I'm at right now. Do we just get 20 gifted subs? What? Oh my gosh. You guys know what to do. Hearts in the chart, please. Can we get some hearts in the chart right now, please? For angelically evil with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 gifted sub. A big, big, huge heart to angelically evil, please. If you are just gifted, make sure you say a big thank you. Angelically evil, these are hearts from myself and the community to you yet again. You've gifted 40 subs today. Which is just absolutely crazy. And we've smashed our peachy goal. We're on over 200 new peaches today. 229 new peaches. Which is just absolutely wild. So well done you guys. And a big thank you to Angelically Evil. Make sure we're saying thank you ganglangs. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do with a little bit more money that I have as well. Is um, it really bugs me that we haven't finished off our greenhouse yet. So... Oh man, that's all I can afford to do right now. But I've added a few more windows in the right there. It doesn't help that I picked a really expensive window, but it's fine. Claudia's gonna get a promotion soon. Both the kids are working. We've got another grave to add to the graveyard. It's all, it's all coming up, Claire. It's all coming up, um, Von Ziegenweed. So that's great. And I'm pretty sure your fun's low. You're having a little read. You're still working. You're really thirsty. Draco, why don't you go ahead and do some collections for me, please? School is stupid. Um, I agree. <laughs> no, not in real life form. In a vampire. In real life form, I don't agree, I'm afraid. 
Uh, Liana Natia, thank you so much for being here for six months in a row. Can't believe it's been six months. Liana Natia, hopefully I'm saying that right. I I'm just going to get Draco to go on a collectible run because it's a good way to make some money. The annoying thing is I can only send them out on a collectible run at night time. And the annoying thing about that is it's really hard for me to see the collectibles at night time. Um, but this is just vampire problems, isn't it? Vampire problems. It's hard to find shiny things at night time. Okay, he's got a few bits and bobs. Not a great deal, though. No, that's a drain, Claire. Is that anything? No. Hmm. It's not the best neighborhood for collectibles, I've got to say. Oh, wow. He's really taking this whole lifeguard thing seriously. I don't know. There was a light change to pink. Did we get a light change to pink um, mods? Let me know. Nat Cat, thank you so much for the bits. You're so amazing. You made my brother so happy. He started crying. Oh, Jacob, don't cry. That's so sweet, though. We did. Thank you so much, Nicole. Okay, let's do a pink light change. Wait, should I go a bit more ready pink like this? There we go. Pink lights. Enjoy. Enjoy. I also got a hydrate. There was a mini workout. Oh, no, a mini workout. Okay, guys. Can we get our weights, please? Can we go ahead and get our weights? We're going to be doing a mini workout. Just going to sell these. Oh, that was only 15. Boo. Are we ready? We're going to do up in the air this time. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Boom. And a hydrate as well. Yeah, Draco's trying to, he's working out to increase, like, his, um, charm. Because it's a good, oh, no. Lonely? You've got low social. It's because you're so mean to everyone. Nobody wants to talk to you. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Um, and you're also a bit smelly, so please come and get a bath. There we go. Go have a bubble bath. Um, to increase his vampiric charm, because it's pretty useful in terms of killing people, right? And why do you have to work for so long? Why is your job so much longer than um, Draco's? Yours is from 6 till 12. Draco's is from 5 to 9, so... Um... Also, Ryan McKnight, welcome to the Peaches. Please can we welcome... Rin! Rin McKnight! Can we welcome Rin, please? Remember to save. That is a really good shout. Thank you. Maya could write music. Ooh, I like that. Didn't we say at one point we were going to get her into singing? She could release, like, classical music, you know? Um, did I buy? Yeah, I did. Okay, when she gets home, I will get her to start, like, singing. She could also practice acting. I kind of see a future generation as an actor, though. Because that's very in the human spotlight. And I'm not sure if they're there yet. Also, I'm going to get Draco to, if he can do, call over the garden gnomes. Just so we can eat them all. <laughs> Oh, Bjorn! I'm gonna kill another Bjergsen! Oh my gosh, I love killing the Bjergsens. They're like my favorite people to kill. Moira is here, and Lucas is here as well. The garden gnomes. Oh, you poor fools. You poor fools. Is Claudia hungry? Okay. The main thing is that Maya is super hungry, so she can eat when she gets in. I didn't fix the foundation everywhere. Uh, is it this bit here? I'll fix it. Okay, so we've called the garden gnomes around literally just for eating purposes. I can do a bit of wall here. There we go. Okay, boom. We managed to get all of that done. And then there's also the foundation here as well. Nice. And then there's a bit... I thought there was a bit inside somewhere. I think we've got it, though. There we go. Foundation is now fixed. Bjorgsen can only burn. I've killed two Bjorgsons that way in two series now. I just like killing them. Was Elsa Bjorgsen? Elsa Bjorgsen. Elsa watching a killer's family like. I don't, right? 
Celine B, thank you so much. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is one thousand bits. I've been through a lot in the past. I've really bad PTSD and BPD. I'm twenty-one in eight days, and I just want to say how much I love you and this community. You alleviate my mental health a lot. Please, can we get some love in the chat for Celine Bean, please? Drop them a little message and say hello. And uh, Maya is home. She's home and she's very hungry. So I feel like there's only one thing we can do, which is drink uncontrollably. Are you excited for uh, Bridgerton season two? I'm very excited for Bridgerton season two. Okay, Maya, here we go. Oh, there's the death dance. Is that what you wear to pretend to be human for your babysitter duties? I feel like you were just like, hmm, what's the most basic human thing I can wear? Or let's we just put a hat on. I know it's the babysitting outfit, but you know. And there we go, some nice nom noms. Malene Stugard, thank you so much for being for six months. I hope you're doing well as well, my love. Is this music a bit 80s? Should I switch it to something else? Should I do like some creepy vampire music? Is the drink uncontrollably a mod? It is. I think it's called the Deadly Vampires mod. Haven't you heard of Plasma Fruit? Um, excuse me, Riku. Yours is not to judge, yours is to work. So please get in here and start working. Uh, I don't care about that random and dying game. You don't need to bring me to them. Um, okay, what what are you? A pear tree. A pear tree. And a pear tree. Aren't I grafting lemons to the pears now? Oh, no, that is the pear. Okay. Ah, oh, that's the lemon. And what are you? Oh, I can, gra I can graft a pear onto a pea? What? I can grow pears and peas together? That sounds wild. We really need to try and get some better plants. These are all just so tragic. It's just annoying, but whatever. Let's take a cut in of this. This is the valerian. And is that person gone ahead and died? Hopefully. Yeah, they have. Brilliant. Another grave for our budding collection. Draco, we don't cry about them. Please, can you go ahead and do a nice painting? Thank you. Oh, and Claudia's back to her old tricks. Where is she? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look how it looks. Oh my gosh, when they cry. Oh my gosh, what? Nicole! Nicole, what are you doing? Nicole! What? Nicole! Nicole, 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 what are you doing? 30 gifted subs is absolutely wild. 30! Wow! Okay, guys, you know what to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty! 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 30! 30 gifted subs. Nicole is now on over 700 gifts. Nicole! 721 gifts on this channel? Even if you're on YouTube, you gotta respect that too, you know? Please, please, please. Sorry, I just lost my voice. If you were one of the 30 people just gifted by Nicole, please can we give them all the love in the world in the chat right now? Please make this whole chat Nicole-shaped love and make sure you say thank you and send them lots and lots of love. Nicole, I can't believe how generous and wonderful you are in this community. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the 30. There's still so much love going on for you right now. That is so beautiful and generous. Nicole, you are absolutely amazing. You are the queen of this community. And Ashley, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much. You've helped me through some of my darkest days and helped me accept myself for me. You are truly an inspiration. Ashley, that's so sweet. Wow, there's so much love in the chat for Nicole. Literally, Nicole is a complete sweetheart. A complete sweetheart. And, oh wow, good painting. This is great. This is going to help me so, so much with um, classic. Let's keep doing classic. This is going to help me so, 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 so much with in renovating the house. Literally, it's Draco doing everything right now. He is just absolutely smashing this. And Maya got the chance to drink, so she's feeling a lot better. Her fun is low. Do they find singing fun? I'm going to get her to practice all the same. 
Please ch change out those trash clothes. I didn't raise you as a beautiful, full-blooded vel- Does anybody do this? I do this all the time. Like, literally all the time. We need a Nicole named Sim. Okay. Yes, we were meant to do that. I think the next generation, we have to do Nicole. The next gen should be Nicole. And Nicole for Gen 3 of the Vampire Challenge. Samantha Scanner, thank you so much. One, two, three, four, five hundred bits. A big heart to you. I love this community. Me too. Me too. I do this all the time. With MCC, I just click the top thing constantly instead of change outfit. You should have Maya kidnap people, put them in the dungeon, and force them to paint for her. That oh sorry, hiccup him. That is actually a great idea. I like that. Okay, there we go. Now please go ahead and practice singing. Hopefully your brother isn't gonna hate your singing so much that like you stop. Why is she just singing? Za 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 What? Why would you, why would you call that singing? Look at this house. You've got Claudia doing this. Draco doing this and oh, okay, just Claudia. Well, and then Maya doing this <laughs> ah, That is how I sing is that not how you guys sing in the shower? Okay, this does boost her fun. So that's brilliant And did you guys say that you did one? Vampy spooky music or was this music? Okay. I Forgot what you guys said. Oh, <gasps> have we got Taz in the chat? Taz Please, can we send some love to Taz, please? Hello, beautiful. Oh, wow, beautiful painting. Love that. Okay, let's go ahead and sell that as well. Bada bing, bada bum. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, controlled emotions. A state of being completely mindful. Good job. Keep painting. You need to paint Maya at some point, too. Um, did you? What did you say about the music? Vampire music. Okay, let me open up... Do, 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 do. I don't really know what vampire like spooky piano music I guess or like sad piano small emotions what about dark let's go for some dark small emotions that's more vampire vibes I think and you guys can actually hear the vampires a little bit more now because they are creepy vampires. Even if they just go, <laughs> Tinkerbella, thank you so much for being here for seven months with your Amazon Prime. Love your videos. Hope you're doing okay. From a fellow 30 year old. Yes, 30 club represent. I love that for us. We said vampire music, not Edward Cullen. Oh, is it a bit emo? Is it a little bit emo vibes? You're still feeling really sad in the presence of death. No, we've already discussed this. That doesn't make us sad. It does not make us sad. What about the organ? She does. She's a musically. Gosh, you're just per. God, you're just perfect. R <laughs> Riku, meanwhile. Yes. Yes, I am. I am quite perfect. Oh, oh, hi. You just came over like a bar out of hell, quite literally. Do you think I'm a loyal person? I don't want to hurt your feelings. Well, he's not wrong. Also, jeez. She's definitely coming down to the final time in her life. She looks terrible. You shouldn't have drunk a sim infected by the mother. What on earth were you thinking? And um, after he's finished... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get you... To, you come over here. So that I can get you to paint a picture. You come here. And then your wait, face this way a little bit. Oh wait, didn't I say I was gonna make them sit in a chair for their portraits? I think I did. I'm gonna get her portrait done as well. Vampires. And her colour's purple. So let's get her to sit in a purple chair. Okay, boom. Okay, do a little sit. And then you need to paint from reference. And okay, let's see how this looks. 
Oh, you look so happy. No, you're meant to look like a vampire. Okay, scrap that, scrap that. Oh, this is so annoying because it wastes money doing it this way. I need you to stop looking so happy. Honestly, just stop, stop looking so happy for a sec. But not also not sad. And also not uncomfortable. And also not inspired. And also not bored. And also not conf confidence fine. Okay, wow. Well. Just sit, just sit, just sit. Nope! Sim, stop it! Stop being such wrecks! Just... Ah! You're so annoying! You are so annoying. Come in here and sell all those mushrooms. You... Please just hibernate. Just get out the way. Okay. And then you please just go sit. Sit. Sit there right now. Sit there right now. Okay. And then you, can you paint from reference? Stop making her cry right before I paint them. Stop teasing her. She's meant to look confident in this. There we go. Is that any good? What do we think of that? Is that a good painting? We have a green light change. Okay, let's go green. Let's go for some nice green lights. There we go. You guys think that's good? You can see her vampire teeth, which I kind of like. Yeah, I think that's a good one. We've got her vampire teeth there. I don't know why her eye is doing this, but whatever. There we go. Oh, it's because she's having a go. She's having a go. Okay, I like it because you can see her teeth is. So she will also, it's kind of creepy because we're like pre-making the like um, coffin vault things. But yeah. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, and this is good because we're making some money in here. Can I splice the valerian onto anything? Oh, you need to water everything. Um, how do I do a splice? Graft. Valerian. Let's graft the Valerian. There we go. Posture check. Thank you. <sighs> Zoomed in is nice. Yeah, I know her face. She's pulling a little bit of a strange face. But look, you're going to be able to see the teeth in the painting. So I think it's worth it. And I'm going to leave you guys. Sorry, I need to wee again. And you know, nowadays we're taking very good care of our bladders. So I am going to go for a wee. Uh, but I will leave you guys with watching the painting while I pee, so you can watch it appear. Back in a sec. She's looking good. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Oh, and straight away he butts away. He's like, I don't want to see that. Oh, and he went to school. Okay. <laughs> they have both gone to school. Um. Okay. Maybe you'll find some... Wait, weren't we finding the people to kill from school? <gasps> I forgot we totally were. Okay. I'm going to move this downstairs to start making Maya's eventual resting place too. Which will probably be like here. Um, in fact, this corridor will probably go all the way along. There'll be loads of rooms coming off it. But I feel like we should probably do a little bit of work on this one because it's probably going to be inhabited fairly soon, which is kind of sad to think about. But hey ho, such is life. So I'm going to just keep doing this brick everywhere because it's really creepy. And what was that noise? Why is this music so creepy? I don't know, but I need some vampire candles. 
What is this creepy music? Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. This is the vibe. Oh my gosh, this music's so creepy. Wait, maybe the painting should go here and then, yeah. Wait, maybe I should put some like floor candles. Maybe like little chairs. <gasps> this music's creepy. Can you guys hear that? You guys can't hear the music. Um, We'll get her a nicer coffin to rest in. We're just kind of low on money right now. The music's super creepy. <laughs> it's like unnecessarily creepy, you know? I don't feel like we should have it as bright as that. Is there like any tables? No vampire tables? It's like a heartbeat. It's creepy, right? Oops. Oh, I can't afford it. Okay, we might need to try and get a little bit more cash first. But at least they've got their own little rooms now. I'll probably replicate this room when we're done. And I will give her a nicer coffin. Can you hear the music? Oh, no way. You guys have not been able to hear the music this whole time. Sorry about that. It's creepy. It's creepy, right? I think so. And then every time we paint someone, we'll just change the chair for like their color. But it will only ever be the heirs. So I guess we won't ever have a painting of Draco. Unless we have one just to display around the house kind of thing. I don't care about uni. Most definitely not. You're an outcast. A dust- Oh! <gasps> okay, guys. You're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society. But we don't care about all that. We value results. You're criminal at heart. We can see that in you. So I'll extend you an offer. Are you interested in joining the criminal career to make some serious simoleons as a minor crime lord? What should we do? Should I switch her from being a doctor to a crime lord for the final few years of her life? Or should I save the cri criminal crime lord for somebody else later on? Let me know what you think. Meredith Gunn, thank you so much for the bids! Claire, you wouldn't need to start a new canvas in real life, so why not cheat that money back from having to scrap the canvas? I probably should, right? Okay, why don't we do this? We'll do this for the final few years of our life. You guys all really like the idea. So she's no longer a doctor. But what she is now is a minor crime lord. And she starts work tomorrow at 8 p.m. We need to get our mischief skill up to level six and do mischievous actions. Okay. And Draco used forbidden words at school. They're just words. She won't care, will she? Okay. What can I do that's kind of mischievous without being cruel to other people? I can't, can I? Oh, poor Riku. Where is he? <laughs> He's in here laughing. Riku, I need you to be mean to. Can you come out here, please? Come out here so I can bully you. Thanks. Also, stop getting sad about the people. It's really annoying. Riku, come back here. I have to move mischief us to him. Where's mischief? Where's mischief? There it is. Pretend to bite him. Oh, look, she's actually been nice to him, though. <laughs> I feel like she would do this all the time. Like, lol, gonna bite you. And then she can lie about her career being like, yeah, I'm, st I'm totally still the doctor, Riku. Now come on, be mischievous. You got a bonus from... Oh my gosh, yes! I did. I did get a bonus. Okay, that's awesome. Also, I'm gonna pickpocket Riku. Uh, what else can I do? Crane to be a criminal mastermind, but I actually am a criminal mastermind. So it's like, he thinks this is all hilarious though, so that's fine. Um, I lie about our new career. Okay, while you guys are doing that, um, since we got a bonus from switching careers, sorry, my game sometimes runs slowly and I find that doing that helps. Let's continue with this room. So I wanted to use the new one from Paranormal because I thought it kind of worked. This little one here, and we'll put like a little lamp on it on either side. Because it's kind of got the right vibes, isn't it? And Claudia's colour was red. So let's do that. Um... Vampires. And let's use these candles. Yes. 
nice face dyes, bit more color. And then we've got like a picture of them on the wall. Is there anything else we should be doing to like celebrate their life? Do you even celebrate the life of vampires or do you, I don't know. What is the best way to do things? I'm gonna do that in here and this for the outside. Oh, I already had that there, nice. And then we should probably put some candles in the hallway too. It's just meant to look really spooky down here. Is that one a bit low? They all look a bit low to me. Let's put them up a little bit. Spooky energy down here. Very spooks. Hydrate, thank you. Vintage glamour. Good shout. Um, what do we got? Okay. What else could I put in here? Oh, they've got a cool fireplace from the Vintage Glamour. That's one park that I really don't explore very much and I probably should do. I guess they wouldn't really have like mirrors down here, would they though? Because you don't actually, you don't actually um, see your reflection as a vampire. Kind of spooky. You should put the picture of Draco in the hallway. That's a really good shout. I will get someone to paint him. Um... And I was thinking, isn't that that like book? Yeah, this. Maybe this can be like a book about their life, you know? So you go in and like you see the book on their life. And hers would be red, yeah. And then this is where they're like buried underneath it. Okay. What else can we do? <laughs> you probably wouldn't need a radiator, would you? Um, Some tapestry? There we go. I think something like this is okay. I can't afford the other one yet. But I think that's like a nice little remembrance room. That's what's heading for you. You should put roses in her area. Offerings to the dead. Yeah, we'll try and grow some roses for her. But as of yet, none of the roses, annoyingly enough, have actually blossomed. So I can't, I can't get the roses yet. I don't know if it's because it's the wrong season. Like, can I take a cutting of it? It's an orange. Oh, wait, can he take a cutting? Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I could have been doing this the whole time. I'm going to get him to go take a cutting. You could do curtains over the pictures. That's a good idea as well. Okay, he's finding some upgrade parts. This always spawns here as well. So we'll get that. We'll get that. And he'll, we, can start, we can start growing roses. Whenever I hear roses now, I always think of that song that's like, Roses. I don't know if anybody else gets that or it's just me, but I always get that now. There are roses in Debug. Yeah, but it's kind of special if you grow your own, right? Um, Dreamers Arcadia, thank you so much for the bits. It would be nice to have painted the other kids uh, like Draco seen as they helped contribute to the building of the house. They had heirs, but they're a legacy. Yeah, we will. I will do that. And maybe you should repaint Claudia in the chair so it matches the other paintings. Yeah, and the, the kids might try and like do a hair to make her look as, as much like she was in her prime as possible. Uh, Meredith Kun, thank you so much for the bits. You can put pictures of any ex children in the wall outside the parents' crypt. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Oh, and I forgot you burn. Sorry about that. I hope you come. <laughs> okay, Claudia. Oh, you did a little snuggle. That's nice. You're still not level six of mischief, though. How close are you? Mischief level four. Mm, you still got a bit to go. Can you be mischievous to a cat? I don't think you can. No. <laughs> Did you give up on Riku? Oh, does Riku have some painting skill? In that case, yeah, let's give it a go with him. We'll give it a go with Riku. What is Claudia's... Does Claudia's dark look? Oh, you're in your dark form now. Try hiding your dark form for a sec. Nah, you still look really planty. Um... Oh, gosh. Yeah, all of her looks are very... Plenty nowadays. 
Uh. Oh man, this is probably the best I can do. Okay, I can get her to sit in there. Wait, do vampires even die? Claudia is infected by the mother, so that's how she dies. I don't know how we'll do it with other vampires. Maybe some of them just get bored of life, you know? So you guys said tie her hair back. Okay. Oh my gosh, look how just creepy she looks. <laughs> At least she's putting her hands on the chair. Okay, let me tie her hair back. For the picture. Why the sad music? Because it's like it's meant to be like dark, spooky music, but this one's just a bit sad. I can switch this one. It's meant to be like dark, spooky vampire music. Oh man. You are real plenty, my love. You are real plenty. What is a good hairstyle for you? Um... Why don't we say we did a hair like this? And they put the bits that were her black, uh, her, her green, they hid it inside the plot so that you couldn't really see it. I think that's a good idea. And we've got a light change as well. Okay, let me change the lights to pink. Pink lights, there we go. Enjoy your pink lights, peachy fun. Yeah, the mother plant's taken over her. It will eventually kill her. And I will do the extra kids the pa uh, paintings thing because I think that's a really good idea. But the kids won't be in the chairs. I'll have the kids just like stood and it will be a bit of a different. <gasps> Mini workout! Oh no! Okay. Where? Okay, so we've done punches. We've done ups. Okay, we have to do these ones next. Okay. I will get Riku to start painting then while we do this. Please can you sit back in your chair? Riku, please, can you paint? Okay, I need to get you here. He's having a wee first. She seems to be quite happy just sat there, which is great. So that's nice. And then, please, can you... Oh, man. I kind of want to answer it in case somebody wants to come around. <gasps> yes! Okay! I got the marriage thing. And I, I said, um, under what conditions? And they just gave me the money. There would be no conditions unless you asked what the conditions were. Boom. I didn't know you could do that, but a bunch of you guys told me in the comments under the last video. So, the good news is, we now... Okay, look forward, look forward. Oh no. Oh no, she's looking all stinky. Oh, is he just not doing it? Wait! <laughs> Who are you painting? What? That's not painting for reference! What? Ugh, he's doing a figure painting instead? Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Please scrap that. And I'm just gonna do this for a sec because she keeps doing stinky. Oh yeah, she keeps pulling her face up because he's so stinky. Okay. Paint from reference. Okay, I think she's gonna be pulling vampire pose. <laughs> okay, what do we think of this? That is pretty vampire energy. I would say. How do you, do you like this one? Did I choose figure? Oh, dumb. That was my fault then. Albany, thank you so much for being here for four months. Hope you've had a good four months. Yay or nay? She's just sitting there like... <laughs> she She's doing the vampire pose. That's why she's like doing that. A lot of you guys don't like it though. It will cost me £100 if we don't like it. I do, I do prefer she was looking a little bit more at the camera. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, stop being humiliated all the time. Right, go. Now she's perfect. Do it. Okay, okay. That is pretty perfect. That's pretty perfect. That is the Claudia we all know and love. Okay, there we go. Boom. Hopefully he does a good job. Hopefully he does a good job. Right. Maya is home. I'm gonna go ahead and check on this group sitch again. How is she still not a vampire? I don't get it. Should I invite her around? I don't think she'll come because she hates us, but still. How is this Jody not a vampire yet? 
We deliberately tried to make her one. Jody would rather not come. Jody! Let's try it again. Juicebox Penguin, thank you so much for subscribing. Yes, and your others and Prime. Welcome to the Peaches. Please can we welcome um, Juicebox Penguin? I know I could cheat her with MCC. Oh, wow. That is looking magnificent. Um, but I want to try and make her come around on her own first. Draco's sad because he had a bad day at school. Um, you haven't called or texted me, so I was worried about you. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Neither is my mom. Why does Claudia feed? Maya is, though. Okay. Oh, that's so nice of you. Please, come inside the house. I don't know why he's decided to do that, but it's nice. And we've got a hype train! Yes! Woo woo! Thank you guys so much for triggering a hype train! Samsara, thank you so, so much for subscribing. Um, and also we've got Bella Larko subscribe using Amazon Prime. Can we welcome both of those new peaches to the peaches, please? Hello? Peach God, thank you so much for the fuel and the hype train. Woo woo! Enjoying the stream so much. Also fueling the hype train. Woo woo! Bella Lily also with the woo woo! Would you upload the alien boy to the gallery for those of us playing along when you come, please? And thank you. I will. I haven't finished his human form yet, though. Uh, Rose Wolf, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Welcome to the Squad Do Peachy. Make sure you say thank you in the chat. And woo woo! Thank you so much for um, fueling the hype train. Okay, you're having a sad day at school. So why don't you just have a nice little chit chat with um, this guy who's just come over and bowed at you? Which, you know what, is very, very respectful towards vampires, so you can't argue with him for that. Um, and then keep him entertained until Maya gets hungry and she can eat him. This music is a bit sad, isn't it? Should I try and make it a little bit more, like, creepy? It's just a little bit too... Sad? And I didn't really want sad. Let's try sneaking. Okay, let's try this for a bit. Uh, Travi Typo, thank you so much for being here for four months in a row, five months in total. Rose Wolf, thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you were gifted by Rose, please make sure I say thank you in the chat. And Jenny Evil with a one, two, three, four, five hundred bits to fuel that hype train. Woo woo! And Angelically Evil. Okay, guys, hearts in the chat, you know what to do. Angelically Evil with the wet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gifted subs. A big, big, huge heart for you, Angelically Evil. Thank you so, so much for the ten. If you were just gifted by Angelically Evil, please make sure I say thank you in the chat. I'm blowing some hearts your way, Angelically Evil. That's level three complete. And level four, potentially, as well. Good job. <gasps> Oh my gosh. She just appeared. She just came here and immediately turned into a vampire. Yes! Okay, we're gonna modify her and cast. Brilliant, this is great. This is what I wanted. Um Thank you so, so much, Angelically Evil. Please make sure you say thank you in the chat. Hooked up, Steam. Thank you so much for gifting a sub. More welcome to the squad, Ernie uh, Peachy. And also, everyone, welcome from Angelically Evil's generosity. Please make sure you say thank you if you were just gifted. Also, Dado Fella, thank you so, so much for the bids. Cakelift TV, thank you so much for the bids. Both of you are full in the hype train. Woo woo. That is amazing. Okay. Yeah, so she, she just arrived, and then immediately she was um, in vampire form. So, can I link... Okay, copy dark form to sim. No, I want to do it the other way around. Let me just unlink from a, for a sec. I want to copy all of her sim form to dark form. Yeah, because... Okay. Okay, this is our starting spot. So here we go, guys. A new vampire, Jody. This is Jody. Um, so we need to make her a vampire form. There we go. <gasps> what just happened? What just happened there? Oh my gosh, what has just happened? There's so many that I can't tell how many it is. Oh my gosh, let me scroll back up. Let me scroll back up because so much just happened there. So much just happened. First of all, Duco with the one, two, three, four, 
five gifted subs. Juco, thank you so, so much for the five. Here is a big, huge heart from myself to yourself. Thank you so much for the five. If you gifted by Duco, please make sure I say thank you in the chat. And then Nicole gifted 50. Nicole, seriously, I'm gonna have to say, your generosity is too much. Please, 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 no more of the stream. Please, Nicole. You are too generous. It's too much. I'm overwhelmed. You are too wonderful. Chat, please, can we get the biggest, like, Nicole-shaped love you've ever seen in the chat? I want you tagging Nicole with the hearts. I want you putting loads of hearts in the chat. I want peachy love in the chat. Nicole has just gifted 50 of you guys with peachy subscription. So you get the emotes to use everywhere. You get ad-free viewing. And you are now a peachy member of this community. Please, can we get some love in the chat for Nicole? Nicole, what? 50? Are you sure, Nicole? It's too much. Nicole, it is way too much. That is absolutely incredible. Nicole, you've gifted nearly 800 subs in this channel. That's too much, Nicole. That is way too much. Chat, who do we love? Nicole! Who do we love? Please, 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 spam some Nicoles in the chat. Thank you so much, Nicole. Sending you all of the love in the world. Thank you guys so much. Send her some big hugs and love her way. And especially if you're one of those 50 who was just gifted, please, please, please make sure you say thank you in the chat to Nicole. Nicole, 50. 50 is absolutely wild, Nicole. That is way too much. It is way too much. Way, way, way too much. Nicole, thank you so much. Huge hearts for you. Absolutely huge hearts for you. And uh, Callie Kyle Kyle Estefer, thank you so much for gifting a sub. If you were just gifted by Callie, also say thank you. And Ashley Gia, Ashley Girl, has also just gifted a sub. Please make sure we th say thank you to Ashley if you were just gifted as well. Nicole is amazing. Nicole is literally so amazing. You deserve this and your and this community do too. Nicole, you are so wonderful, so generous. That is absolutely wild. Nicole is a queen. That's why her name is up here the whole time. The most gifties ever on this channel. Ashley Girl, thank you so much for the bits. Woo woo! And Herped Up Steam, thank you also for the bits. Woo woo! Thank you guys so, so, so much. Thank you. Also, um, yeah, please don't like say, if, if, don't like ask people for subs or like list how much they've been spending and stuff because I don't think that's very fair on them. Um, Herb Step Steam, thank you so much for the bits. Woo woo! Vanja, thank you so much for the three months in a row as well. Hope you've had a great th three months. And we did it, guys! Level five hype train! <laughs> Give yourselves a huge round of the pause. Nic Nicole, what, sh what emote should we spam for level five? Because I think you did the bulk of that, my love. Let me know what emote we should be spamming. Let me know in the comments now. And we'll do whatever one you want. I'm gonna give her a vampire teeth. There we go. You should just draw Jody more modern for her dark form. Lilith! Okay, guys, Lilith's in the chat right now, please. Let's get some. Oh my gosh, why can't I see my Lilith emote? Let's get some Lilith emotes in the chat. Uh, where's Lilith at? There she is. Okay, Lilith's in the chat, guys. Let's get some. There we go. Look at all these Lily Bear emotes. Lily Bear emotes everywhere. Lily Bear's in the chat. <laughs> Lily was a queen and so were you, Nicole, so it makes total sense. Okay, so for Jodie's vampire form, I gotta get rid of this little hype train. Thank you to everyone that supported it, though. For um, Jodie's vampire form, we will be going more modern than the others. Um, but I still kind of like the idea of doing something with a dress, but just definitely more modern vibes. What are you guys thinking? Jody seems to wear bright red, so maybe we should keep it something similar, like similar vibes color. But maybe something more like that? I think that could be a kind of a vibe. I like that. I think that's cute. I would wear that dress. Maybe even redder. When you lock Claudia in the basement, you can retire her early so you can receive her retirement pay. <gasps> yeah, she's not an elder though, so could we do that? I kind of think the slightly deeper red looked nicer, didn't it? And honestly, for me, it's kind of working with the boots. I'm kind of thinking, what about some fishnet leggings with it too? Um, 
Have I got any like fishnetty fishnets? I got dancing skeletons and butts. Oh, what about those ones? And I kind of want to keep a headscarf because I think the headscarf's kind of a vibe. But what I think I will do is obviously go a lot heavier on the makeup for her vampire form. Just because it's kind of fun, right? Maybe not like that though. There, there are base game fishnets. You think that's better than the little butts? These are like, um, no, this is, sorry, spider webs. Let me find the base game fishnets. Um, they're butt ones. Base game fishnets. Um, they're regular tights. Huh. Why don't I have the fishnets? There's some Realm of Magic ones. They are red. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, there we go. That looks kind of cool. Um, and then let me do some makeups. Ooh, you know I was talking about the Decades Challenge earlier. The other thing I was thinking about the Decades Challenge is I would try and dress up for each um, generation based on the clothes that they would have worn at the time. I'm just, at this point, let's face it, looking for... Um, ideas of how to dress up. I'm, I'm not even gonna die, deny that at this point. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of dressing up for each one. Mainly just because I want to put beautiful dresses on and I've got nowhere to go and wear them right now, so. <laughs> I don't even have them, but I want beautiful dresses and I want to get dressed up and wear beautiful dresses. Even if it's just on the stream, I would like to do it. I think that would be really fun. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you like that idea. I want to go like red. Because she's, she's red, right? Claire just wants to be a cosplayer. I do, right? Can we have red lights, please? It actually would suit the vibe of her very much. That's a good color choice. Let us go for red lights. There we go. Thank you so much. Uh, Ricey Cracker. Ricey Cracker. There we go. And I'm going to go red lips on her too. Well, she looks quite different already. Maybe a bit darker red. Hmm. There we go. Um, can she have a scar? I mean, she's only just turned into a vampire, though. She might need some time to, like, get all of this, like, extra spooky vibe stuff. But for her vampire form, we could give her... I kind of like, like, these eyes on, like, the ve vascular cheeks. Just like Buffy vibes, you know, where like your face goes all weird when you become a vampire. I think that's kind of co cool. Drips, yeah, good idea. Okay. And then her neck is crying out for some jewelry. Um, I wish that worked. I don't know why it does that. Because I think it's really pretty, but it just doesn't work for me. Okay, definitely a little bit more of a modern vampire. She's not, we're not gonna like, she's not gonna join the household or anything. So really it's just for fun aesthetics. Posture check, thank you. It is just for fun vibes in the background. Um, Kit Kat, uh, Kit Kat K, thank you so much for the win. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A thousand bits, a big, big, huge heart to you. Thank you so, so much Kit K. Um, what ethnicity does she have? It's Simish. Yeah, I don't want to get too much into that. Like, they all they all just are Sims, aren't they? They live in Sim Simland. Um, I wonder if I can put a belt on her, like, around here. That's the last thing I will check real quick. This song is so sad and doesn't match it, but it's so pretty that I can't help but leave it on. Okay, I can't see that one. Can't see that one. Hmm, I don't think a belt's gonna work without taking off a headscarf, which I don't want to do. So, yeah, big rip on the belt. Never mind. Okay, there we go. So Jodie is our most recent addition to the Vampire Gang. You guys can't hear the music? It is quite quiet. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. 
She can't fall in love with Draco because she's his half brother. She can't do that. Yeah, they're related. They are siblings. She does have a bit of a piratey vibe, doesn't she? Okay, I'm gonna just delete her humiliation because that thing really annoys me. It would be really nice for her to have a vampire friend. And I feel like we've got a lot to teach Jodie. She already has her little umbrella as well, so that's nice. Um, I want to try and foster some relationship here between them. It's really hard with evil sims though, because like, they're just obviously evil. But we will try and make this Jodie girl. We're gonna make some vampire puns. Did she even- oh, you don't have a- oh, you don't have an umbrella. Oh no, you do. Why are you not using your umbrella? I don't know. Sell our robotics project. Oh, where's our one you- I'm not going outside. Okay, let's let's call this girl into the house. There we go. She's heading in now. Um, I would like her to have like a relationship with her half-sister. Because she doesn't have one with her brother. Uh, this girl does not like us at the moment. But we're just going to try really hard. No, she hates us. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Do you want to go cloud gazing together? Wait! Take pictures together! Yes, that is the way to do it, isn't it? Uh, how do you do it? 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 Take photos together. Yes. It's a good way to cheat friendship. So we'll do that. <gasps> and the updated picture of Claudia is complete. Tell me she doesn't look amazing. Tell me she doesn't look amazing. And Draco's thirsty. Oh, no, no. His, his vampiric energy is low. Forgetful dancing. Oh my gosh. I thought he was doing the death dance. Do some meditation, please. No, don't be mean to her. Take a picture with her. Wait, can you change into your your vampire form? I feel like the picture should be in vampire form. <gasps> show your dark form quick! How can I get her to show her? The sim can is either the same rank or not high enough to train Maya. Oh, we're not high enough to train her. Draco's thirsty and we're thirsty for Draco. Can I force her to change forms on MCC? Commands. Occult commands. Show dark form. Boom. There we go. Let's get a nice little picture together. Vampire picture. I feel like it should be Jodie taking it because, you know, she will actually know what a camera is. But that, at least we got a little picture of them both together. Oh, I didn't change her eyes to red in her vampire form. Okay, I'll fix that. But that helps you like the other person more. It's like a good way to cheat friendship. So let me just change this real quick or else it's just going to annoy me so much. This is making me want to get back into Sims. Yay, I like that. I'm glad. Oh, she didn't kill yet. My bad. My bad. I don't know if we'll ever see her kill though. I don't know if I can ever, like, make her kill. Unless I added her to the house and then moved her back in again. That's probably how I'd have to do it. That might be the only way. Hey, Lex. Lexi. Evie. Hey, girlies. Hey, girlies. Hey, Bubba. Uh, you guys say take some more pictures. Maybe... Can I like show her pictures? We still hate each other. Man, it's so hard. It's so hard to just make Sims like each other when one of them is evil. Um, Where is the show pictures? Lecture about the sunlight. Why don't we offer her some advice on a vampire? We changed her so we should be the one that tries to help her here. And then I'll see if she wants to stargaze with me because that's a good way as well. Gossip about ancient vampires. Okay, let's do some stargazing so we can become fast friends. Look at her. <laughs> it's been so long since you played Sims. Sometimes it's more fun to watch. I go through phases with it. Oh, and, and Claudia's doing this business again. <laughs> Scary bird! Thank you so much for being for seven months. Hey, been here lurking. I hope you're all well. And how has it been seven months? It's gone really fast. Dreamers Arcadia, thank you so much for the bits. Is that music quite loud now? Um, 
Take photos to force friendship, then sell the photos for money. Lol. Do the same with Draco. She didn't want to stargaze with us. Honestly, I think Jodie Loki is mad that we've made her a vampire. I don't care, though. Because when I'm thirsty... Draco, where's your mate gone? Thank you. Two, we need to go and change the next one. I said I would do one per stream. So we're going to go back to our family's house and change the next one as well. And the good news is we can add now Jody to Vampire Club. So that's pretty cool. And I'm just going to quickly eat Draco's friend. While that's happening, I'm going to move Claudia downstairs. Can I not put like a really cool old school frame around her? Because that would be so much cooler. Game, come on. You're running so badly today. I'm just going to put this one outside. We will get one of Draco. And let's put this one of Claudia down here. I guess I'd have to get like another painting with a groovy frame and then like put that behind. I think that's the only way I could do it, which kind of sucks. Like, you know, like do something like that, but it wouldn't be in the right position. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Um, but I got a bit of money. All my Sims are currently crushing on one of my other Sims. Oh my gosh, Sim crushes. Um, so whilst I'm here... Um, I'm wondering whether to scrap this idea of an extra floor. I don't know how to finish off the house, guys. I don't know what to do with these two bits. Because roofs are free, so I could do this roof. But I really don't know what to do with it. Keep the extra floor. Okay. I wanted to do, you know, like a castle roof like that. But I don't know how to do the roof. I don't think I can do any more. Oh, I can. Okay, so I could do a castle roof. Because I would just do like... Wait, that's too high. I could just do it like that, right? And then... That would be so slow to do the whole thing. Does that look garbage though? You can get CC that frame that's empty and goes with the painting. Ooh, maybe I need to do that. Add a ceiling under the glass dome. Do it with platforms. Is there not a fence that looks like it? Oh my gosh, that is that makes so much more sense. Like, I can't even tell you guys how much more sense that makes. But maybe I need to look at, like, a picture of, like, a Victorian... Victorian vampire mansion. And see how they look at the top. Because I'm really struggling with this house. I don't really know how to make it look good. I want, like, a symmetrical house. Which is kind of hard. Because I was going to have like a tower behind it as well. Because it does go out to the back. So I was going to do, like if you imagine like here. This was going to be like a tower. <gasps> Aliska! Aliska with the raid! Thank you so much! Oh my gosh, what? And Gid is here too. Can we get some love in the chat please for Aliska for the raid there? Oh, thank you so much. Aliska, how was um, Dead Before Daylight? Did you have a good stream? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that so, so much. Can we get some Aliska shaped love in the chat please? Welcome everyone from Aliska's stream. We are trying and currently failing to build a gothic vampire house for my gothic vampires, believe it or not. It was so fun, you should try it out. It looks really hard and scary. <laughs> I feel like I would just panic because I, I get a bit um, panicky when I get chased. Oh, I've run out of money again. Um, so I feel like I would just panic the whole time. But yeah. Welcome everyone who's raiding. Um, I'm Claire. I've played um, a bunch of times with Aliska on Among Us. We've not played in a while though. We should definitely try and do that. 
Um, and also, Gid is here too. We've heard Among Us of Gid. Thank you so much for joining me. We're getting towards the end. We've got one more sim to turn into a vampire and add some beautiful CC to. Um, and yeah, this is my vampire house so far. So like, we're getting there with it. But there's obviously much to do. And I think I need to look at pictures of a vampire house to get an idea. Um, also, these are all the humans that we've killed so far whilst doing this. We're doing a pretty good job. In fact, in fact, you guys might be lucky. You might be about to see someone die. Did you do it? Did she already do it? Did she already kill him? Oh, she's killing him now. Oh, this is so nice for you guys. You get to see someone die as soon as you join. Yay. Also, James, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Would you do any late night horror streams? If so, do you think you play Five Nights at Freddy's? Um, I've played Five Nights at Freddy's on my YouTube. You can um, search that on my channel. Oh, there we go. Is he dead? Is he dying? Oh, he's a teenager. He's... Oh. Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I was a bit worried for a moment then but we ha that we hadn't killed him, but we definitely have. So, yeah. Another one bites the dust. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, well done. We've killed him. And now that we've killed him, you can do a nice little song to celebrate him dying. Nope, we don't get sad about deaths in this house. Um... We'll go and turn one of our half-siblings half into a vampire after this. Uh, yeah, you can search Five Night Freddy's. I have taken it on my channel. Uh, I have played it on my channel. It was really hard. I was a bit worried then that we hadn't killed him, lol, but we did. Don't worry. Also, Meredith Coon, thank you so much for the bits! Instead of a big staircase up to the third floor that doesn't currently work, you could put a ladder to separate the attic spaces. I could do that. What I want to do is... So you see we've got like this staircase here. Now that we've got that room in the back, this platform is going to move into here and it's going to keep- so you'll go up the main stairs, then up the other stairs, and then like... that way, I guess? I've run out of funds. I need probably about 10k to get this to work, but that platform is going to move backwards. So we'll probably we'll try that next episode. But I'm really glad this episode that we at least fixed this outdoor space because I think that looks so much better than it did before. So we're getting there. I actually have some CC that lets me color in the roofs because the roofs on this game, the fact that they're yellow, uh, white, sorry, is actually the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Um, I can't remember what it's called though. I thought it was called ceiling. Ugh. Oh, is it this? Yeah. Ceiling tiles. So, technically... Yeah, yeah, you see that? Sorry, the music's dead in Mosh. I don't really know why it's decided to do that, but it has. Um, You can cover this whole thing. How much are they a tile? Color me gorgeous. Ceiling grid. Okay. They're only $1. So, you see that? It's an absolute pain to do, but this is currently the only way to color in the ceiling. Like, look how much of a pain this is. Like, I'm physically in pain trying to do this. This hurts. There's got to be a better way. But yeah, this is the only way until the Sims make it so you can colour in ceilings. Oh my gosh. I, I literally don't know if I can do this because it's too painful. Maybe I should try and do it from this angle. There we go. Okay, that was actually way easier. I'm dumb. Yet again, Claire's dumb. Who, who would have guessed that? But I also, it's a funny angle, but you see what I mean? That, lo that looks so much better. But see the solution for now. Sorry, I'm getting like again stuck on granular details when the whole house has no roof. That is the way that I play. There is a C4 ceiling default replacement. So yeah, I thought I'd installed one that made it less bright, but obviously I didn't do it well enough. Um, where's this guy's thing? Hi, Grim. How's it hanging? Um, let me just put his little thing. Ceilings are so important, right? Oh my gosh, guys, I had two. I had two. Wow. And exciting. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's Draco just casually crying in here. Okay, whatever. He's the only one that can get there because he can fly with a bat. I get to extend my graveyard. This is a big day for us. We've killed enough people to extend our graveyard. I'm so proud of them. Well done, guys. Well done. Let's go ahead and pop this here. Also, I've got a duffel of cash from hitting level three of the criminal career, so I can sell that. 
I have a plate from some little brat kid that I babysit, so I don't want that. Uh, some espionage stuff, sell, and a vintage baseball bat. Oh, I see. I kind of want to keep that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my vintage baseball bat. There we go. But we got a bunch more money, so that's good. Oh, no! A mini workout! Hero Pride redeeming the mini workout. Okay. So we did punches. We did ups. No, it's my least favorite one. It's the tries. Okay, are we ready? Get your get your weights, get your weights ready. It's mini workout time. <sighs> okay, three, two, one. Twenty reps. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Boom. Boom. And a light change. Oh no, two people redeem light change at the same time. We've got a blue and a purple. So I will go in between like this. It's like a royal blue slash deep purple vibes. There we go. Biddy bobbity boom. Okay. Um, I am going to go ahead and travel now um, and turn one of my siblings. Whichever one we see first is the one we will do. So let's go. Enough singing. Enough chit chatting with Grim. We've got places to be, vampires to make. Bathroom wallpaper does not match. What, I have a bathroom? Oh, yeah, I do. I know what you mean. Okay, I will do it when we get back home. Okay, so we're gonna go to San Maishuno, to where my relatives live. Who are they again? Garcias, they're the Garcias. There we go. They're, ironically, they're on a historical lot, and we are, Claudia at least, is a several hundred year old vampire, so. Bibbidi bobbidi boom! Oh, sorry, my eyes are watering from working out. <laughs> Do I have a bathroom? Out of contest, the best light ever. Oh. Can you see who killed them in the grave's bios? Oh, we sh I should have been put in that. We should have seen who has got the best KD. I totally forgot to do that. Okay, so Claudia is here. We are around at our relative's house. I don't have enough energy. Oh my gosh, my love, please meditate. Please do some dark meditations. I need enough energy to break into their house. And then whoever we see first is the one that we change. Whoever's closest to us is the one that we change. Did you know she goes around in with her little toes? Oh, her little toesies out the whole time. Interesting thoughts. No shoes. No, she's um, she's a free spirit. I will add some shoes to her. <laughs> I totally forgot to do that. Okay, I want to vampirically gain access, not not have access. Oh, what? I can go in already? Okay. And the first child is... Ellis Garcia. Ellis Garcia, you have been chosen. You will be turned into a vampire. Oh, no. <laughs> Alice does not look very happy about this. The dress does look funny. <laughs> Literally looks so funny. Peachy Squad, I have seasons, cats and dogs, and get to work. What parks do you think I should get next? Um, I'm kind of enjoying Paranormal, I'm not gonna lie. Parenthood, actually Parenthood is a good shout. Um, get Together is pretty good as well, because Windenburg's a really cool neighborhood. Imagine how the Garcias feel about a vampire, who's, especially one that's meant to be their family. Is anyone else here to witness this? Oh yeah, she's just like, uh, this is really weird. This is really weird. He's just having a boohoo about this. Okay, I think it makes them like not like you when you do that, but whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Cares for edit mode. And let's go ahead and check out Ellis. Bibbidi bobbidi boom. Your oh, island living's really good for Solani. That's a really good shout. Ellis actually has an identical twin. Oh my gosh. What? Also, who? Trent. Jeez, they all look the absolute spit. All the girls look the same and all the boys look the same. I'm kind of tempted to like... I mean, they all just look so similar. They really do. Okay. This is what it's given us to work with. Let's see what we can do here. 
Might have to go for some god skin. I want to I wanna straight away give him a bit more of a chin. Because, like, my sims just don't have chins. I just want to edit his old face, so I'm just going to resist. <laughs> Is pets worth getting? I don't love pets as an addition to The Sims. Can I edit him? <laughs> Can I just make him hot? His nose is so tiny. He's got like an able nose right now. I just want to like give him a bigger nose. I might just like... What's his nose? This is his nose setting. Yeah, I might just bring his nose setting back to the original again. There we go. Hydrate! Did I get hydrate mods? Was there one redeemed? Yes, make him hot. Edit him! <laughs> make him hot! <laughs> this is what we're all here for, Claire. Hot boys. And girls. Um... I could give him buddy eyebrows. I could make him a bit of a... A ruffian. Edit. There was a hydrate. Yep, thank you. Thanks, Beth. Um, okay, let's see what we can do. I wonder whether there's like a greeny... I feel like a lot of my sims have had the same colour eyes recently. What colour eyes does Draco have? I'm trying to hide that line under his eye. Okay, he's looking better already. Let's face it. His, use his personality. He's a dog lover glutton. Okay. <laughs> Probably not going to be um, a ruffian then. And his, his twin brother is a vegetarian and outgoing. And their other brother is a gloomy mean. Okay, he's the ruffian. We'll, we'll turn... We'll, when we turn him... We'll make him the ruffian. But Ellis is a soft little dog lover. So it's probably not him. But he should definitely be a bit more soft. Why are your eyebrows trying to make their way to your ears? He needs to be like soft dog lover vibes. Let's just make a soft little dog lover boy. Draco has red. Oh, yeah, because he tur he's turned someone, hasn't he? Right now, Ellis is just a regular old human. Not quite on his new vampire journey yet. He's got no idea what he's in for. Uh, let's give him some lashes. Wait, where's that one I just put on gone? Soft dog lover boy vibes. Yeah, he looks really fair as well. He's kind of like Draco in that regard. So I'm going to give him fairer eyelashes too. Yeah, a little fair eyelashes. He looks like your dad when your dad was younger. That's cute. I don't see that or some custom eyelids. No, I think I'm going to give him his mouth corners because he's meant to be happy. Okay, he's already looking really adorable, to be honest. Um, how do you add CC to your game? You can, um, if you Google that, you'll definitely get, um, or if you look on YouTube, there's videos dedicated to it. I think I've actually shown it in some of my videos before as well. So I don't know whether to make him like white blonde because his eyebrows are so fair that I've given him, but they kind of suit him. Oh my gosh, that hair's just completely covering his face. <laughs> uh, longer hair. I want him to have really fair hair. He kind of suits that hair colour as well, though. Shaggy hair like he's a shaggy dog. What, like this? I get, yeah, I get these kind of vibes from him. Oh, he looks way too soft to be a vampire. I feel so bad. He's gonna be a murderer. 
Una, thank you so much for being here for four months in a row. I appreciate that so much. Have you had a good four months? He's so cute, right? I feel so bad. He's like this soft little boy and he's just... <laughs> he's gonna be out killing. Doing some kills. I, I, I want to make him a golden retriever. Like a big golden retriever. I'll give him some shoulders. And wider hips. Just a bit generally wider. There we go. Maybe he drinks plasma only. He kills them with kindness. Oh man. The poor little thing. <laughs> maybe he maybe yeah, maybe he doesn't want to kill people. Maybe he just um drinks some plasma instead. I'm just gonna give him like little golden retriever energy. Because he looks like a golden retriever to me. So golden retriever energy for this boyo. Like, fully. I'm just gonna go yellow. <laughs> he is a golden retriever. Give him the orange sweatshirt thing. That looks kind of cute, though. I feel like that's kind of the right vibe. He is the Stefan of the group. What, the blah one? Blah vibes. I will never stop bullying Stefan on this channel, by the way. <laughs> It's just something we're always going to do. I'm sorry, but it's what he deserves. The Resolver, thank you so much for the win. Two, three, four, five gifted subs. A big, huge heart for you. I appreciate that so much. If you were just gifted by The Resolver, please make sure you say thank you in the chats. And uh, The Resolver, thank you so much for the five. Okay, I wanted, I wanted to do these jeans, but they're kind of cropping a little bit there. It's not the end of the world, though. I'm going to take these clown shoes off him. Um, I want his feet to look really big because I think big feet have like an adorable dorkiness about them. So I want him to look like adorkable. Yeah, they look pretty big. The music's sad, which is perfect because my poor boy is, uh, my poor baby. <laughs> you poor thing. I don't feel the glasses. I don't feel the glasses on him. That's fine. Um, what if he needs a little heart? Big feet, big brain. That's what they say about big feet. <laughs> Amy's, thank you so much for the vids. It's your 14th birthday today. Almost a year since I met you. I love you so much. I miss you more than anything, Amy's. Amy, giving you some big, big hugs. He's like a soft, a popular softy boy. Yeah, I feel like he's the, the boy that everyone's like, no one's mean to him at school and he's popular just because he's so sweet. The Resolver, you've been here for eight months. Whoa, it's been, work has been so crazy lately. I've been crying in your car from stress, but your streaming has actually managed to make me smile. Thank you for being so amazing. And thanks to all the lovely peaches who always make me feel so welcome. Can we get some love in the chat for the Resolver, please? After a stressful work day, hopefully you feel a little bit more calm now. And uh, Dicinia, D thank you so, so much for subscribing. Can we welcome Dicinia to the Peaches? Thank you so much for subscribing with your um, Amazon Prime. Uh, maybe a little piercing, okay. <laughs> wow, Claire, that took so much to convince you. I love piercings, so. Just a little, little baby one. Wait, I want this, but in ring form. Oh, jeez. The in-game ones are just dreadful, really. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How did I forget to do this? Eye flex? I forgot his eye flex. Yes. Oh my gosh. Even more cute vibes. There we go. <laughs> Gotta do eye flex, guys. It's the key to adorableness is some good old eye flex. I've put so much more energy into this, dude. I feel bad for the other girl now. We just kind of did a bish bash bosh. Oh, it's because I had a lesson to go to, though. I had a lesson last time. Just like that. He's so freaking cute. He is so, so freaking cute. Did you like him? Lesson in 15. 15 minute warning. Yes, thank you guys so, so much. Okay, I think we're done. There is Ellis. He's cute for now, but um, 
he is going to become... Don't have BBs, good. No BBs. Uh, he's potentially going to become an evil blood-sucking machine. So, there we go. I, g I just gave him the detailed hands, because the in-game hands are trash. So, there we go. You guys are getting male saffron vibes. Oh my gosh, yes. I was wondering why you mentioned saffron so much. That makes so much sense. He does look like male saffron. That's so cute. You guys are thinking it was a saffron gender bend. Oh, he definitely has that energy. He definitely has that energy. We don't have much time, guys, so we'll just check him out in game. He is such a cutie. He is such a cutie. Maybe make him an alien. It doesn't suit him. Or oh, what? I think it suits him so much. He, <laughs> look at the contrast between like full on, like raised from a child as being an evil vampire. Definitely humans alpha eaten and that's it. Even has a fire behind her. And then uh, soft baby angel boy did not want to become vampire is now like got this whole, uh, <laughs> has this whole, um, future ahead of them which they don't like why don't we have time i i do have a lesson tonight sorry my accent's still horrific <laughs> mainly because my accent's like hey <laughs> i don't know why i talk like that when i speak korean uh but i sound really like flat i'll work on it apparently you meant to like not make your voice go up and down as much but yeah. <laughs> and there we go. So we got the next member of this family all ready to go. He's so freaking cute. I feel so bad. I'm really hoping that, and this could happen, Jody could come back and start. Oh, Jody's a fellow babysitter. We even work together. Um, she, oh, light color change to yellow for Ellis. That's a good shout. Jody could come back home and start killing her family. I'm just putting that out there. That is definitely a, a thing that could happen. Maya didn't flirt with him. Um, there's an interaction called Flatter, and it has the same animation. Don't worry. I can't invite him to a vampire club until he becomes a vampire, but we'll give him a couple of days, and then I think he will turn into a vampire. Um, as long as Ellis does not kill him first. He's given himself a little pep talk in the bathroom. Where's he gone? Wait, where did you just go? Oh, there we go. He was giving himself a pep talk because he feels real sad about his now future. Oh my, oh my gosh, what's happened to the boy? And he's enjoying human food while he can. So there we go. Um, and we need to have a think about what we're going to play this week. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So there we go. Ellis is soon to join the vampire club. Jody is already in the vampire club. Let me check on the ages of the next generation. Okay, we've got seven days until we age up. We kick Draco out into the wild and we hide um, Claudia downstairs. Why has this girl just got a lump of clay? I do not know, but she's just going for it. Um, so quite a lot has happened this episode. It's been fun. Yes, we will be raiding. Let me have a nosy at who is alive right now and we can check out who to raid. The music's been a little bit sad <laughs> this time. Uh, Koji's streaming. Um, we could do a Koji stream. Uh, Koji raid, sorry. Um, and Nina. Okay, Nina as well. So let me know who you guys want to raid. We'll do a quick, a quick. <laughs> we'll do a quick little poll now. Who to raid? A Koji. We've got a Nash. You guys raided Nash last time. Uh, Dakotas. We've never raid, raided DK before, so we could do that. Um, Koji, Nash, we've got Nina as well. Um, and, oh, Milk as well. Milk is also streaming. And Wolfabelle. It's actually Wolfabelle's, um, oh, I've run out of spaces. Okay. <laughs> not as many spaces as I thought there. Shan you not, thank you so much for being here for six months. Hope you've had a good six months. Peachy Squad says he looks so much like Saffron, but I feel bad that he has to be a vampire. Such is the name of this series. Uh, such is the nature, sorry. And Steph, oh, Steph is starting her stream soon. Oh, no way. Sorry, Ber Bertha Gertrude Homeplace. I totally missed that. Uh, we might raise Steph in a future stream, though. Let me see who you guys are thinking. Oh, it's between Koji and Nina. Who did we raid last time? Did we raid Koji last time? 
go ahead and vote now. Um, but if you're on YouTube, I will go ahead and say thank you so much for watching another episode of our Vampire Legacy Challenge. Let me know what you think of a uh, little cutesy Ellis's appearance. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!